Hello everyone, um, here's my uh, new platform tutorial. I'm a bit tired, I've been playing uh, Castlevania recently for uh, PSP, the, Ca the Dracula X Chronicles. It also comes with um, Symphony of the Night, uh, somewhat, you gotta get an item, it's weird. But it includes the full game and I've been having a blast with it. If you don't know what I'm talking about or what Castlevania is, why are you bothering to make a platform game? Sorry, that was uncalled for. Anyway, let's make a coin. And that's a bit too big. Seriously, I freaking love Castlevania. Except it's like a really hard game. Or like if you uh, run out of lives. You have to restart at the beginning of the level. Which uh, some people might find that frustrating. But I'm really old school. You know for a 19 year old. But still. Man I love Castlevania. Okay here we go. Let's rename that coin. And uh. Let's set up the score. Um, seriously, uh, when I tried to make this, I made a mistake using the counter object. Do not use the counter object. You're gonna go to, let's see, where is it? Yeah, so for some reason, things stop, uh, popping up. Here we go, score. Now, I just remember you can also find this in, uh, games here right next to lives and high score these uh, go together so uh, yeah so the um, this already the score object already has a uh, input programming into it um, you can use numbers or text I like using text I don't know how the fixed numbers work but um I don't really feel like getting into that now. Yeah, so like I don't know. Um the game you see here is like really incomplete. Yes, this will be a full game in the future. That's a test holder sprite and it'll be a platform game which I hope will be uh good. Uh, if you want multiple uh, coins, just do like separate like around everywhere. Um, what you're going to want to do is duplicate them so that they all do the same thing. That's probably way too much. I didn't even have to do all that. Okay. Now, um, character select your character collisions overlapping another object, the coin object. Um, the controller here for player one, you use that to um uh, set your score and whatnot. You go to score, uh, add to score one. Remember when I said that uh, the score object already had a uh, programming already done to it? Well, there you go. It's really, really simple. And um, the high score object too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, my full game won't have uh, coins, but I don't know. It's set for uh, this. And, um, let's see. Uh, should I explain the high score object? I think I should. Yeah, sorry, this is uh, taking a bit long. Yeah, so here you get your setup of a uh, number of scores you want on the board and the length of the names or character names on there. Uh, 
edit some content not sure what that means oh and you can also save the scores on INI file um, I won't really get into that INI files aren't hard to use apparently but I still uh, can't really get the hang of it just yet Yeah, so this will just be simple. Okay. How about this? Picker count have all coin been destroyed. Next frame. Yeah, so it's good. After this, it's going to take me straight into the. Uh, Ah, uh, dang. Okay. We're going to have to move some stuff around for this to work. Because, um, stuff. Okay. Go by six, seven. Huh. Well, that didn't work. Maybe we should do something else. Don't know why it didn't work. Set the value. Uh, let's say five seconds. Next frame. There we go. Um, KVN. There we go. There's your high score. Of course, you can flesh this out however you want. You can add in a backdrop. You can add in a title like congratulations into your high score or whatever. But, um, well, that's not really how you do it. Uh, what I would do is, um, after, you know, you, you complete a game. Um, I don't know. Just, that was just to show you. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to figure out how to correctly use the high score object and whatnot. Well, I thank you for watching this really, really short tutorial. Um, next, I'm going to show you a small tutorial on uh, firing objects. And uh, this is still an incomplete part of the game. But um, check this out. No, that's not really impressive, but if you want to know how to fire objects that accurately, I will show you next tutorial. And also how to use the counter object.